I just start acquiring. I, I, I'm a, a pack rat, the highest order. There's this, uh, these TV shows now, Hoarders, they got nothing on me. I started out making paintings just like anybody else, but it didn't, that wasn't working. There was something in the hand to the brush, it wasn't working. And <clears throat> I started thinking more three dimensionally and started noticing all around in the city basically little chips of glass and the color of the, of the glass on the sidewalk. And I started picking all these things up and making these small accumulations. I began to realize that this, in fact, was a sculpture. It was art, it was my art. And I had a revelation of marbles in the store window and the light glinting off of them. And I just I began to understand that I had a different relationship to art than the two-dimensional painting. And I sort of, I let it go. And like I said, at the time when I found these marbles and I bought some big marbles and put them in these jars that I had at home. And I was satisfied with that as a sculpture. That's, that's the work of art, that's the sculpture, that's mine. And it's one of those aha moments when you, um, you realize you have to make art for yourself and not for anybody else. Really what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of anything that's in, within arm's reach. There has to be some intrinsic quality to it that uh, attracts me. And that doesn't mean I'm going to use it. It doesn't mean I'm going to use it for those characteristics. But there's something about the object, whether it's its color, its form, shape, all these different things.